Welcome back to Feast Fight Back. Today's video was, it was just an amazing food day to be honest. <laughs> Good morning. It has been a few weeks since I last filmed. Um, there has just been a lot going on, a lot that I've been processing, but yeah, I'm doing okay. Um, and yeah, I wanted to do another video today. I think I really managed to sort of get myself out of that difficult place that I was in um, probably a couple of videos ago now. Um, and I'm still not 100%, but I'm getting there. Um, so yeah, just kind of keeping on going. Um, I have a very, very good food day planned today. Um, I have got interesting snacks, new snacks to have, um, a different type of dinner. Um, so that's all very exciting. Um, and yeah, I think actually I was just thinking about it this morning and I was like, I think even a few months ago, any of the things I've got planned in for today, that would have been like, I would have only managed to do one on a day in a week maybe. And I'm like, well, I've got quite a few planned for one day um, and I'm quite excited about it. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, I've also got my appointment um, and things like that. So we'll see where the day takes us. Um, I have got my teaspoon that says, always keep the faith to have my porridge with, have my porridge with chocolate, banana, two slices of toast on a thick bread with all of my spreads. Oh, that reminds me, I need to go and um, tell you about a thing. This might not be a big deal to someone else, but it was a big deal to me. Um, so we ran out of bread because I literally get through a loaf of bread in about two days, three days. Um, and so we went to go and get some more and they didn't have any of the one that I usually get. And this was sort of a kind of deep breath moment. I thought, okay, it's fine. Um, I was in the shop by myself. I was like, okay, I need to get another loaf of bread. It was not very easy because there was not a lot of different types left. Um, and I had a bit of a moment and I was like, I don't know which one to pick. And my head was telling me to go for one that wouldn't have fitted my plan. So I went for one that did fit my plan. Um, and I think almost the harder thing in the way is I really don't like this one. Um, I much prefer my old Hovis wholemeal thick bread. Um, it's a dog. Um, but they didn't have it and I bought this one instead. And um, it just doesn't, doesn't have much flavor. I, I like brown bread, like I like the flavor of brown bread and it, it tastes kind of bland, a bit like white bread. Um, so I'm just, I'm not overly keen on it, but I'm finishing it. I'm gonna finish the loaf of bread. It doesn't matter that it's not perfect. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's just a little side subject. Um, but yeah, breakfast time. This was my little outfit of the day, obviously wearing a Christmas top and even got Christmas llama socks on, which were amazing. Even though it is appointment day today, I'm not going to do like a big update thing, um, partially because not like much to update on. I'm, I've not had my appointment yet, but I don't think there's much. It's a very loud noise. But um, yeah, I don't think there's huge amounts to say. 
things have felt a little bit brighter um and that's nice so today's more of a kind of what i do in a day what i'm eating in the day um because i have got some really exciting food bits um oh i'm, I'm so excited for my afternoon snack um but yeah sorry rambling away i am gonna go now because we have got an appointment but just wanted to say that are we excited to see what i've got for my morning snack today it is a Mars bar, raspberry smash flavour. Um, and yeah, I don't know how it's going to be, but I really want to try it. So I'm going to try it. It was really cold. So this was me wrapped up before we left for my appointment. Then I had my appointment and then I had my snack afterwards. I had an apple and then time for the raspberry Mars bar. And I had no idea what to expect. It was amazing i mean it looks amazing as well but it tasted so good i don't know how they managed to do it i don't usually like raspberry chocolate type thing but this was 9.5 out of 10 nearly a 10 out of 10 it was so good i highly recommend it but i can't actually remember when i bought it so but yeah um then we did the food shop came home and had lunch i had a hummus and falafel um roll just felt like mixing it up it was a humongous roll it was like the size of my head so I had that for part one, then I had some mini cheddars, then I had my corny yoghurt, and then I had a sarin slice afterwards, all with an orange squash of course. Then we went on a lovely dog walk. It was very muddy, but it was good. I absolutely had to do a little intro for my afternoon snack because I have been so excited to try it. So I've got these, which I follow um, like Christmas products and stuff because I absolutely love Christmas. Um, and when they said that Sainsbury's were releasing these, I was like, I absolutely need to try this and actually last year Sainsbury's released um I think it was like a Biscoff cookie cup pie kind of thing and I kept telling myself I was going to have it um I didn't have it and then they stopped selling it because it was a Christmas special and I was always like I really wish that I'd been able to try that anyway um so when I saw them release these must have been must have been about a month ago that I saw. Um, and I was like, I need to try them. I need to try them, the specials this year. So this is a gingerbread and white chocolate blondie pie. And I don't like mince pies. And do you wanna know why I don't like mince pies? Because for the first sort of like 18 years of my life, possibly even longer than that, I thought that they were mince as in like minced beef in a pie. But everyone told me that they were sweet and I was like why why is beef like minced beef sweet um anyway um a few years ago I tried my first mince pie and it was a very underwhelming situation um and so I never really had them since and I'm just not about a big just didn't really like it um so but I do, I have like had, I like pies. Um, so I've had like a few variations. I think earlier this year I tried, was it a Neapolitan one or a strawberry ice cream one or something? I don't know, it was in one of my previous, was, was it a Bakewell? I don't know, it was in one of my previous YouTubes, um, which was okay, it was like an open pie, but this is like a proper closed pie. So you can see, it's got like a little gingerbread on it. Um, so gingerbread and white chocolate blondie. I don't know if it's got a little description. I'm like trying to not look at all the bits that I don't need to look at. It's how I read things, cover all of it. It says, these wickedly rich little mi little pies are perfect if you're not a fan of the traditional fruit mince meat. That's me. 
The buttery gingerbread pastry has, is filled with sticky caramel, Belgian white chocolate chips and sweet blondie. So there you go. I'm not a huge fan of gingerbread, but I don't mind it in if it's not too, like, gingery. <laughs> anyway, this is a really long talk about the fact that I'm going to have one of these pies for my afternoon snack. I haven't decided. I think I probably will heat it up just because I think pies are nicer when they're slightly heated. But then, I don't know. We shall see. We shall see what we'll do. <laughs> Then it was afternoon snack time. I got them out. Mum and Dad wanted to try one as well. Um, so popped three in the oven. Didn't really know how long to put them in for. So just put them in and waited, I think like five minutes. This was me with my pie. It was, it was nice. It was kind of like, obviously like a gingerbread kind of pastry. The blondie inside, it was a bit messy. The blondie inside was delicious and the caramel was absolutely just yeah delicious i just found like the ginger spices a little bit too much like it was a bit too gingery but mum and dad absolutely loved theirs so maybe that's just me and it was just a little bit too much for me but i'm really glad that i tried it obviously it was a real kind of push out of my comfort zones but nothing good ever came from staying in your comfort zones i would rate this probably a seven out of ten if it was less gingery it would be a 10 out of 10 because most of it was absolutely amazing. It was just a little bit too much ginger spice for me. I have been working, working, working. Um, just doing some notes and stuff. But I'm about to go down for dinner and I'm having chicken katsu curry tonight. And I think I might have a muller rice afterwards because that goes against the rule of having rice for dinner and rice for pudding. Or I might have a yogurt. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see how it goes. So this was my dinner. It was chicken katsu curry. Curry? <laughs> chicken katsu curry with um rice, obviously chicken. Um, and then it had some like beans and stuff in it and some vegetables. Um, it was okay. It wasn't my favourite dinner. Um, the katsu curry part was really nice, so like the flavouring of the katsu sauce. And I still wasn't too sure at this point whether I was going to have um, a muller rice for dessert or something else. Um, but then, I don't know, I was thinking about it and I was like, I'm breaking lots of head food rules today. Um, and I know that having like the muller rice after having obviously like a curry with rice for dinner was breaking a uh, food rule. So I decided to do it and I had my Miller rice. I heated it up um, and then I ate it and it was tasty. This is a little update on my paint by numbers. It's going really well. I'm really enjoying this one as I do all of them. And then obviously I still had my night snack and I took my night meds and I wanted to finish this video on this quote. 